pornography. This leads to bondage, as does all sin. Feeling better, old timer? Yeah, bet your life. You know, funny thing, you fill a man's belly full of grub and vittles instead of spirits, <laughs> makes a heap of difference, don't it? <laughs> Tell me more about this Red Beavers, Bandy. Well, he is. Why are you so interested, stranger? Because I know he's the leader of a gang of outlaws Tano and I have been after for a long time. They've been moving in on gullible ranchers all across the country, beating them up and swilling them out of their property. Why, George, that wouldn't surprise me a bit. You know, ever since this fellow Red Deavers took over my job as foreman of the Circle K, he fired all the old hands on the ranch, and then he fetched in his own fellas to replace them. When wicked men take control of an entity, whether a ranch, a TV network, a college, or even a nation, they will attempt to get rid of the God-fearing men and replace them with those of a like mind, wicked like they. And now he won't let no one near the place, just the same as if he was holding poor Mr. Bob a prisoner. Poor Mr. Bob? Yeah. Thought you didn't care what happened to the Circle K anymore. Thought you disliked Bob Kittredge. I do. Though Banty, who represents the American middle-class worker, is angry for being unjustly fired, he still cares for his boss's son, who represents the American people, and for the ranch, of which he gave 40 years service, which represents America. And anything that this Red Deavers and his gang does to him, he deserves it. Even if they force him to sell his ranch? What, sell the Circle K? Oh, <laughs> Uh, Mr. Bob wouldn't do a thing like that. Uh, no, sir. Would Americans sell out their nation and their heritage? Him do that. We find sign like this posted around town. Let me see. For sale, Circle K Ranch. Interested parties see Red Deavers foreman. Well, what are we going to do? Why, well, it just wouldn't be right for anyone else to own that there Circle K ranch except the Kittredge. It's also wrong to allow people to control America who do not love God, nor their neighbors, nor the American fabric. Now, nobody welcome there but ranch buyers may find out. In that case, we'll just have to get interested in buying a ranch. Not too much gray hair, Tonto. This disguise has got to look good enough to fool everybody. When me finish, Kimosabe, even old Banty not recognize you. Just so Deavers doesn't recognize me, that's what counts. Remember, he's no fool. How you get to Circle K Ranch, Kimosabe? Silver not look like horse old man would ride. You're right, Tonto. I'll need a wagon of some kind. Something to fit this disguise. I'll have to wear some other clothes. Me ride into town. Get them for you. Tano, be sure that you don't arouse any suspicion. There, me finish. Lone Ranger all hidden. You wouldn't take a pot shot at a half-blind old man now, would you? I just come to see about this here ranch for sale. You wouldn't take a pot shot at a half-blind old man now, would you? I just came here to see about buying this ranch. You don't look like you've got money to buy a ranch. Oh, oh, it isn't for me. You see, I'm representing one of the biggest ranch owners in Boone County. Okay, Grandpa, come on in. We'll let the boss talk to you. Yeah, thank you. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Devers, I reckon we just about made a deal. You can tell your boss he won't be sorry. The Circle K is a fine property. I'd sure like to know who you're acting as agent for. Well, you see, uh, Mr. Devers, my boss wants his name kept out of the deal. Of course, uh, if you aren't satisfied doing business through his agent... Now, I... don't get me wrong, Grandpa. I don't care what his name is, just so his money's good. Uh, well, I reckon that's about all. Yep. Guess I better be going now. Oh. Say, plum near forgot. Mr. Kittredge hasn't said it's a deal yet. You don't have to worry about him. He'll find the terms satisfactory. How do I know he will? He hasn't even heard him. Nope. Can't go back to my boss and tell him this deal's settled till Mr. Kittredge himself has said so. Okay, Grandpa. I'll see if I can get him. 
Hasn't been feeling so good lately. Uh, had an accident. Uh, bruised himself up considerable. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. The wicked, friendly leadership will always make the people they rule mourn. Not again, Devers. Don't beat me up again. That's just so you'll pay attention and do exactly what I tell you. Now listen. There's a buyer outside. We're going out to see him. You tell him you want to sell the ranch. Oh. Oh. Poor Mr. Kittredge. He sure sounds mighty sick. Here's Mr. Kittredge for you. Poor boy don't feel much like talking. Sorry to see you looking so poor, Mr. Kittredge. I told him about your offer and he agrees to all the terms. That uh, correct, Mr. Kittredge? Them terms satisfactory? What? Oh, yes, yes, I agree. Sure, you won't uh, change your mind now. No, take the ranch. I don't care what the terms are. Any old price. I, I just want to get rid of it. The people become so demoralized and lost that they're willing to give up the ranch, which represents America. Poor boy. He just wasn't cut out to be a rancher. Well, you satisfied? Yep. I uh, reckon I found out everything I need to know. When will it be back with the money? Mmm, let's say four days from now. My boss will bring it himself. Your boss? I thought he wanted to keep his identity a secret. He does. That's why he'll be wearing a mask. A mask? <laughs> Won't scare you none now, will it? He can wear whatever he wants to, just so he's got the money with him. He'll be here. Goodbye. How about Mr. Bob? Did you see him? I saw him all right, what was left of him. I've been beating the poor kid up. Beating him up? And you left him there? Don't worry, Betty. They have to keep him in good enough health to sign the bill of sale. That'll give us time to get some help and go after those outlaws. Well, where are we going to get any help? Why, every rancher in this country is scared of that there Red Deavers and his gang. Then we'll have to find some men who aren't scared. Are you, Betty? Me? <laughs> Not by a jug full. What about the other old timers who used to work for the Circle K? Would they be scared? They're not scared of nothing. Think you could have them here in four days? Could I? <laughs> I'll fetch you a whole legion of them. In life, we are to fear no one or no thing except the Lord. Legion of old timers. It no work, Kimasabi. Old timers no match for young, tough hombres like Deaver's men. I know it, Tano. But it's our only chance. We are engaged in a great war with evil. Every weapon within our reach must be used. Preaching, teaching, praying, giving, all must be brought into action. Talents must be employed. Well, uh, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Well, if, if the nation turns away from having a, a, a godly perspective, then all kinds of things can happen. Uh, 50 million abortions in our country. It's a terrible blight on this country. It's got to stop. Uh, the uh, corruption and, and thievery and, and misappropriation of funds and the betrayal of the oath to the Constitution and so on and so on. Uh, this is a country turning away from a belief in God. And God, of course, is a just God. Uh, he rewards good, he punishes evil. And uh, maybe some of what's happening to our country we're being punished for turning away from him. Get back to him, I'd love to see it. Despite all of the revelations of the consequences of homosexuality, there has been an increase in the infiltration of our nation's public schools with pro-homosexuality curriculums. The American education establishment's aim is to teach children to accept and approve of homosexuality. They are in place homosexual strategists who devise curriculums with a long-term commitment to change the way society thinks about homosexuality. They begin their perverted indoctrination with our youngest children, beginning in kindergarten. 
They teach students that any problems associated with homosexual behavior must be blamed on homophobia. There are school books where a girl and a boy do not fall in love with each other, but a girl falls in love with a girl and a boy falls in love with a boy. The education establishment promotes gay pride and employs teachers who are openly homosexual. They equate any opposition of homosexuals with hate, bigotry, and prejudice. The reason many governments have usually promoted literacy is not because they favor true education, but because schools can be used to produce the kind of citizens they want. Every child's mind is the government's property, and it will decide how that mind shall be formed, what attitudes shall be implanted and eradicated for its own purposes. Adolf Hitler said, let me control the textbooks and I will control the state. And so he did. Harvard University professor Mr. Chester Pierce said, Every child in America entering school at the age of five is insane. It's up to you, teachers, to make all of these sick children well by creating the international child of the future. The commies said under Lenin, we must remove the children from the crude influence of their families. From the first days of their lives, they will be under the healthy influence of communist children's nurseries and schools. People often ask me what they can do to restore freedom and righteousness in America. Let me tell you about one surefire way to get Washington's attention and get our country back on track. I guarantee it will work if even 10 to 20 percent of Americans followed my advice. I'm talking about pulling your children out of the clutches of the government schools. It's the right thing to do for your kids and for your country. Some two million kids in America are now being taught at home a direct result of the declining standards of government schools. When that number reaches five million, critical mass will have been reached. The system will begin to implode. It will mark the beginning of the end of the government monopoly on schools in America. It will mark the beginning of a peaceful revolution. It starts with people saying no. It starts with awareness and resistance. It starts with saving your kids from abuse and indoctrination. You want to know how to fix your family and your country? The most important step you can take is to pull your kids out of school and to start fulfilling your principal responsibility as a parent, educating them. It's your job, take it seriously.